Aloha, 11th and 12th grade U.S. government students for distance learning for this fourth quarter. Uh, it's been just over two weeks since we, or just around two weeks since we've returned from the historical trip. Um, sorry I had to end so abruptly, but I feel like the Lord led us and gave us wisdom in returning early. And, uh, and I hope you've had two weeks of rest and relaxation, uh, practicing social social uh, distancing and your isolation. I pray that uh, it was a good experience, um, but it looks like we're going to be doing this for the next 30 days or so. Um, so this program has been set up uh, basically for us to be able to do until the end of April with the idea of coming back to school on May 4th, but we'll see. Um, so that's why we haven't made any decisions on graduation or anything like that. And we're going to do everything that we can to protect your graduation date. But uh, three times a week, uh, you'll be watching these videos. I'll try to keep them short. I'll try to make them as exciting as I possibly can. Um, we need to be able to go over to our notes. Uh, so we'll have to do it quickly. Um, I'm used to having five class periods a week with about 45 minutes, and now I'll just have about three sessions with 15 minutes each, so about 45 minutes total uh, to be able to go over the notes. But uh, we're going to spend some time kind of going over some announcements and then talking to you a little bit about the prelim notes and what we're planning on doing for this quarter. So first of all, up on the screen you see uh, video, video lessons will be posted three times a week. Um, and they should be posted by 4 p.m. the day before. Uh, they will be on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you won't be able to watch them ahead, though, because I'm not going to post them early. Uh, I want you to go in sequence. I don't want you to try to work ahead. I just want you to stay consistent each week. Um, the videos will last 10 to 15. This will be a little bit longer because we're going over some uh, announcements about the course. Um, and then you will have to take handwritten notes. So these, the PowerPoint presentations will not be put on uh, the Google Classroom. You will have to take written notes from the notes that I'm going to give you on these videos. The nice thing is, is that you'll be able to pause them, uh, write down the note, and then continue if you feel like you don't have enough time to get everything written. And then at the end of each one of these sessions, you will have a five, six, seven point quiz that you will take and um, over this lesson. And the nice thing is you will be able to use the notes that you took during the session in order to do the quiz. Um, and uh, so we'll use these to, to cover notes. Sorry, we won't be able to have as much uh, question and answer time or actually stories, uh, personal interest stories to help you with the lesson. So. Uh, we're like I said, we're, we're going to move pretty quick. Uh, Zoom lessons will be on Thursday or Tuesday and Thursdays at three o'clock to three thirty. They'll usually be about 20, 25 minutes, no longer than twenty five minutes long, and that's going to give you an opportunity to ask questions, to talk about all the upcoming projects or just one project this quarter, and any questions that you have on the notes or expectations I have for tests and quizzes coming up. Okay. Uh, weekly assignments will include a uh, bonus article. So you will have, you've already received one. Uh, 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 basically, you have to go and find an article dealing with a certain topic, and then you will write three sentences on that, and then you have to include the name of the article, the author of the article, and when it was published. But there's just so much going on in the world right now. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to branch out and read a lot of different articles. There's a lot of news going on. Uh, bantering back and forth on whose fault COVID-19 and where it came from and all these different things. So this is an incredible time to be reading and finding out what's going on and listening to the two different sides. So you'll have an opportunity to, to get bonus points on that, five points per week, up to 20 points as long as uh, you follow the guidelines that are in there. Uh, there will also be a forum question posted each week. That forum question basically deals with um, you this week answering in a paragraph uh, your response to the question and then starting next week you will not only answer the response to the question and this is required it's not bonus this forum question you will answer the question but then you will make a comment on one of your classmates um, comments please be appropriate uh, please be kind in your responses even if you disagree with someone we still have to show them respect and how we respond 
Uh, you will also have terms, uh, content questions. Uh, there were some questions that you received uh, in conjunction with this video uh, about the same time and it's dealing with different types of law. You are to write a paragraph about or your view or your definition of those. Uh, there will be content questions, terms, uh, questions from different videos. There will be a couple videos posted this week outside of these lecture times that you will have to watch and answer questions on. And then each Friday we will have a weekly uh, quiz um, basically over the content that we cover. It would be about 10, 15 questions uh, just to highlight that. Okay. Uh, next week we will talk about the quarter projects and then the school announcements like I do every class period where we talk about the play, the you know soccer, things of that nature. Um, that, that will happen next week. Okay? We won't be able to discuss that this week, um, uh, but we'll get in. I mean, it uh, happened at the different Zoom sessions, sorry. We will discuss it, but tomorrow and Thursday. All right? Okay, well, let's get to our lesson. We're getting into the judicial branch which is Article 3 of the Constitution. It was our goal to be able to do some debate when we got back from the historical trip, but that's not going to be able to happen. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the judicial branch. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna do some review. Now this review that I'm getting ready to go through will be on the final. Let me say that again. The review that I'm getting ready to go through will be on the final. So this is dealing with all the different parts of the Constitution that we've already discussed with. Things that I think you should know. All right, and the first one up is dealing with the preamble of the Constitution. Uh, when we went into the uh, National Archives, there was an opportunity for some of you to work on that with the preamble, and some of you did really well, and, well, some of you not so well. But anyway, first of all, you need to know where the power of the Constitution comes, and we the people. Uh, we got to see that, too, the power of that, and the Blueberus Unum, um, dealing with Adam Mini one. Uh, the presentation of the Constitutional Center. So we the people, that's where the power comes from and the purpose. There are six purposes to the Constitution or government and form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote for the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty. So those you will definitely need to know uh, for the final. And then we talked about Article 1, dealing with the legislative branch. We did this right before we did mock Congress. Know that legislate, to legislate means to make laws. It is a bicameral legislation, a legislature with a House of Representatives, which our representation is based on population. So the state of Hawaii has two representatives. And then the Senate is based on equality, where we have Maisie Hirano, and then we got to meet Senator Schatz. Um, and we know that Congress passes bills, concurrent resolutions, joint resolutions, simple resolutions. And then um, one of the things that we talked about in the beginning in, the, in our Article 1 notes is we talked about the Congress being in session is Congress on display. And Congress in committee is Congress at work. Remember, that's where the laws are broken down. And that's where the laws are uh, basically sent to discuss and then when they get to a polished, finished form, they're sent back to the House and the Senate, just like they went on this relief bill uh, for the COVID-19 um, and appropriations, dealing with all the different things that they were gonna provide money for. Uh, it went to the Senate, back to the House, and then they voted on it, and then it went to the President to be signed. Okay, we also talked about Article 2, which is the executive branch, and we know that the executive branch is purpose is to execute the law or enforce the law or empower the law. They actually put the law into practice. And this is where the system of bureaucracy, government bureaucracy takes place in the executive branch because all levels of government, all branches, or not branches, but all offices of the executive branch are the ones who take the laws and actually implement them and put them into action. So the Department of Transportation, Department of Education, Department of Health, uh, urban affairs, foreign relations, all of those operate under the office of the president. And so that's what the executive branch deals with. Uh, and then Article 4 uh, dealt with interstate relations, giving us full faith and credit. So your marriage license, your, your uh, driver's license, your hunting license has reciprocity from different states. Uh, so public records that are initiated in one state are accepted into another. 
And then rights that you have here in Hawaii, you have to have them if you move to California or Virginia. And then extradition from state to state. So if you commit a crime in one state and then you live in another, wherever the crime was committed, they have to extradite you to that state so that you can be tried. So that deals with Article 4. And then Article 5 deals with amending the Constitution, which is two, two ways to amend the Constitution. Two ways. Uh, Two-thirds of both houses, that's the House of Representatives and the Senate, or state conventions can do that. And then Article 6 deals with the constitutional national supremacy, uh, which we talked about this, and it was on several tests already, constitution and amendments, um, and uh, is the highest level of authority in the United States. The constitution is the highest level of authority. Let me say that one more time so we get it. The Constitution of the United States is the highest level of authority. And then the laws that are passed in government, signed into action or empowered by the president, the second level of authority, the third being state constitution, state laws, and then local laws. So that's Article 6 of the Constitution. And then Article 7 deals with ratifying the Constitution and two to nine of the 13 states required. Okay, and then after we did that, or actually before we did that, we talked about the amendments. And we talked about First Amendment rights, uh, foundational freedoms. The First Amendment deals with your five foundational freedoms. Uh, religion, and we talked about the Free Exercise Clause, the Establishment Clause. And then we talked about freedom of speech, freedom of press, your right to assemble, and then your right to petition the government for grievances. And then the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. And then the th uh, third thing that we talked about was the Bill of Rights and the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. And so that's a general overview of everything that we've discussed up to this point. These are the key points that you need to know uh, for uh, the final. Uh, very important for us to know in government. And then when we get back the next time uh, on Wednesday, we will be discussing or starting uh, the Article 3 of the Constitution, which is the judicial branch. So we'll be dealing a lot with law. Uh, not a lot of ways to make that exciting or appealing, uh, but we will do the best that we can. So thank you, and uh, we'll see you in the Zoom session on Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Uh, enjoy these last few days before we get down to the nitty-gritty and start producing a lot of work. And one of the things I want to encourage you to do is be thankful for the amount of work that has gone into what the teachers are trying to do in order to make sure that you are able to get your last quarter credits. And we just don't write it off and give you something that you didn't earn. So when you get your diploma or your transcript at the end of the year, it will be backed by the fact that you did the work in order to earn it. So the Lord bless you and we'll see you in Zoom.